7 Alive is working to get you answers, of getting a mom to help her get the answer she needs after her pipes burst in her apartment complex, leaving it falling apart, growing mold and a big hole in the wall. She tried to get the complex to do something about it without any luck, but after 11 Alive's Paola Suro set out to hold that complex accountable, this mother's luck is changing. Is the water damage you can see, so it got wet. Yolimar Sanitar's life now reduced to a dozen boxes. We had a whole full um, house, full one apartment, um, two beds. Right now, we down to the floor. We're sleeping in, in our mattress in the floor. And many of the items left. You can see clearly them all in the clothes. Moldy and unusable. And we have to smell and leave with this every day. Yolimar says after the pipes burst on Christmas Eve, this hole opened up inside her son's room, exposing them to outside elements. I can actually see outside from here and to have to leave with that every day is just bad. I couldn't but bust out crying. It really has taken a toll in our uh, health, but our mental health too. She and her son moved into the signature at Sugarloaf Apartments in Duluth just two days before it flooded. Mold everywhere. She says she finds more mold with each passing day, and it's forced her son, who has asthma, to leave. We get headaches, I can't sleep at night, I get sweats, things that never happened before to me. On top of these issues, she says her dryer and fridge didn't work when she first moved in. We was using this as our freezer to keep the most important things every day. Sanichar says she is willing to break her lease or move to another unit on a different property, but managers told her they are dealing with 70 other families in similar situations. You work hard for your things. For them to for you to come home and find everything destroyed. She says she used to work as a leasing agent for the same company and believes more should be done. Now I even understand more the people, you know, where I was actually helping. So I just want them to care about the people, to care because we pay their salaries too. 11 Alive reached out to the complex's office a handful of times and never heard back. But hours after 11 Alive left Sanichar's apartment, she says 10 maintenance workers showed up to fix the hole and confirmed she has mold all over the walls and the ceiling. You can see the mold in there, the black spots. She says they added that they will have to bring another crew to fix it and that she won't be able to be inside her apartment for the repairs. It's kind of like a roller coaster of emotions waking up and saying this. Until then, her life and boxes will remain packed. In Duluth, Paula Suro, 11 Alive News. Now we reached out to Atlanta Legal Aid, which warns tenants to not stop paying your rent if you find yourself in a, a similar situation here. The group warns that failure to repair is not grounds to not pay rent. But here's what you can do. Keep all communications with property managers in writing. Hire someone to do the repairs, then deduct it from your future rent. You can also make sure you have proof that you tried reaching out to property managers multiple times with no luck. File an affirmative lawsuit against the landlord for diminished value of the unit and for damages. And you also might be able to claim constructive eviction in order to break your lease.